डालने की जो बात होती है कि आप हिंदू नहीं है तो आप इंडियन आप हिंदी नहीं बोलते हो तो आप इंडियन कैसे ये एक तरीके से एक कोलोनियल हैंगओवर भी कह सकते हैं इसको बाइनरीज में बात को डालने का हर बाइनरीज में कोलोनियल हैंगओवर भी और उस कोलोनियल हैंगओवर के साथ जुड़े हुए इस समय के या कुछ वर्ष पहले तक के पॉलिटिकली एम्बिशियस लोगों के सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट भी है जी हर चीज कोलोनियल हैंगओवर नहीं है कुछ चीजें जो है वो आपने भी जान कर के एक तरह से क्रिएट किया सो so, ऐसा नहीं है कि इट्स जस्ट कॉलोनियल हैंगओवर कॉलोनियल हैंगओवर है अपनी जगह ठीक है लेकिन आज कॉलोनियल रूल खत्म हुए पचहत्तर साल हो गए जी जी तो जो लोग अभी भी उन चीजों से चिपके हुए हैं और उनको रिवाइव करना चाहते हैं लेट अस थिंक अबाउट देम श्योर ओके सर ओके सर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड थैंक यू फॉर दैट आंसर यस we have a question by the handle mickey mini from episode 4 okay i will just read it out mm. for everyone yeah it's a, i found it's a longer profound one resonance very movie yes i'll i'll try yeah, to nah, please read it please read it yes yes mm. i found profound resonance in professor's point about people not really engaging with ideas but talking at one point on the grounds of stereotypes they have formed i experienced this heavily back in my undergraduate days where i found myself not entirely politically aligned aligned with a certain left leaning professor he immediately labeled and bracketed me as someone representing the far right and would often pick on me directly for my opinion directly after making a point when i would proceed to give my two cents he would interrupt me mid sentence assume the end of my sentence and then hold me accountable shame me for his assumption often his assumptions were inaccurate making the whole process tirelessly frustrating as a decade or slightly more younger female looking up at academia with stars in her eyes i found myself trying hard to win his approval hoping he would listen hoping he would appreciate nuance in my arguments rather than seeking black and white which never happens that was a young academic i think he had just about entered his early 30s i do hope young people in academia who do find themselves in ideologically affiliated or even if not with professor agrawal are able to take in a thing or two about engaging in disagreements with people not from intellectual high mindedness but from the spirit of humility and a desire to beat out the truth this is from mickey and mini sir ye inki jo query hai mere liye bahut kareeb hai sir i could, not agree, hai, I yes, could not agree more and let me admit publicly and let me apologize to this because i do not remember of having done it deliberately but in mm-hmm. my long life as a professor i started teaching the undergraduates in 1982 and right. then uh, retired from jnu after 25 years in 2007 and then in for last 5 or 6 years as you know i have been teaching the fellows at Uh, YIF, y- YIF. So I have not done it deliberately, even when I was young, even when I was thirty or whatever. Incidentally, when I started teaching, I was uh, exactly twenty-seven years old. Mm. But even those days, I tried to relate and tried to be respectful to the views of my students. But still. uh maybe i did thing similar to which uh, this uh, young friend has uh, related to unka uh, naam kya hai mini mickey mini mini mickey mini so if any one of those students who felt that kind of intolerance or that kind of hubris in my approach i really genuinely request them to forgive me with folded and say seek their forgiveness and i totally agree with her see in fact mudra i take pride in the fact there is no harm in mentioning it that when i was teaching in jnu as you know jnu is a very very politically active and uh, almost i would even say charged 
tempers yes and i had the boys from right wing hindutva persuasion in my class of course they were there and uh, the things which i feel proud of myself a bit sometimes in life was that many of them got very good grades because they wrote well yes in my assessment jnu has a totally internal assessment system and uh, these boys whose politics were well known who were active politically in a certain right wing organization mm-hmm. but uh, they got very good grades and marks in my class because they were writing well they were academically quite competent mm-hmm. and uh, uh, to their credit they appreciated that and uh, they respected me for that because mm-hmm. i was very sharp in expression of my political opinions outside the class even in class i have uh, i do not hesitate in expressing my academic opinions so yes. everybody knew where i stand and everybody knew where they stand but if they yeah. are arguing their case with evidence with facts with academic rigor they are most welcome to to say whatever they feel like say and as you remember in one of the cases in our own experience where you were my kya kehte hain usko ta fellow kya ta teaching assistant teaching assistant ta ha i mean if somebody wants to write to uh, place kabir with reference to a certain reading of a certain football match <laughs> this kind of nonsense is not acceptable whether it's come from left or come from right or from center i'm least but but academic way you are asking whatever but yes she has a point and uh, she is right and i totally echo her sentiment her desire that uh, people in academic profession people who for whatever reason i admire me as a teacher or as a guru i join this then in mm. requesting them to learn good things as academic and to mm. learn the value of dialogue this is quite uh, i did not think of this but maybe this was at the back of my mind when i read it last night that right. uh, today i posted that thing on my facebook that mm. even god learns from dialogue wow so yes, me sir. i mean okay i am a great scholar i know a lot of things i am world renowned scholar blah 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 but still one can learn a lot from him and one should always has the have the have the humility to enter into a dialogue and but at the same time the student also the young or or even the old the student also should have the courage the strength and the psychological maturity to deal with witticisms mm. and to deal with sharp critiques mm. i mean you you would be better to uh, convey this as a student mm. as my student you would be better to convey this i can be very sharp i can be quite witty my comments could be very devastating sometimes but mm. then you should you should have the maturity to handle my comments are never devastating emotionally but they can be devastating academically and uh, if you have taken a position uh, you should uh, learn to defend and if you do not if you find some of my comments uh, too sharp for your comfort then sharpen your own weapons to come back mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, sharpen your own academic argument and regard to come back and uh, kind of uh tell me to uh, to respond to further questions but those are the things of details so far as the spirit is concerned i totally agree with it totally agree right right mera uh, agar main apni taraf se is point ko jodu sir mujhe aisa lagta hai ki political spectrum ke dono extremes ke upar mein sir conversation mujhe aisa lagta hai ki possible hi nahi hai जैसा कि आपने रिलीजन के बारे में कहा था कि अगर आपको मॉडर्न डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम्स के अगर आपको फायदे लेने हैं तो यू विल हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ सम इंसिस्टेंसेस आई फील दैट फॉर द टू एंड्स टू हैव सम सम सॉर्ट ऑफ 
con conversation as well they have to let go of some of the insistences to come together to at least on what they agree and how they can move forward ye meri alpmati se sir mujhe aisa lagta hai par aapka kya sochna hai bilkul alpmati ki baat nahi hai mudra tumne 100 sort ake ki baat kahi uske bina dialogue ho nahi sakta aur democracy is a form of institutionalized dialogue ji jaise tumne bilkul sahi kaha ke if i want to uh, enjoy the benefits of a citizen as an individual in a democratic setup ji to ye kaise sambhav hai ki main apne kuch prejudices jo clearly democratic spirit ke khilaf hain un par ada rahu aur unhe apna privilege manu ye kaise sambhav hai how can i be allowed to treat women as second class citizen if i want to be treated as a first class citizen how yes. can i endorse minorities or muslims or anybody for that matter being treated as second class citizens if i want to be treated as a first class citizen yes so the point is that there are certain prejudices agle kisi ek sawal mein wo baat bhi aayegi there are jee, certain jee. prejudices which are there of course they are there those prejudices have to be won over they have to be taken care of. they yes. are not to be cajoled they are not to be kind of encouraged तो ये तो आपको करना ही पड़ेगा आप जैसे ये जो हमारी दोस्त हैं ये जो कह रही है इनके प्रोफेसर साहब का इनके साथ जो व्यवहार था वो बहुत गलत था इसमें कोई संदेह नहीं लेकिन हमें भी ये देखना होगा कि कहीं हम भी तो एक इलॉजिकल ढंग से अनरीजनेबल ढंग से किसी चीज पर इंसिस्ट नहीं करते जी 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 क्योंकि ये जो ब्रैकेटिंग है ये जो बाइनरीज की ब्रैकेटिंग है दूसरे के साथ साथ हमें खुद अपने बारे में भी इस बारे में बहुत सावधान रहना चाहिए इसीलिए मैंने कहा कि आई स्टार्ट टीचिंग एट दी एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड आई वॉज इवन मोर शार्प दोज डेज माई बेट वॉज मोर डिवेस्टेटिंग दोज डेज बट स्टिल आई ट्राई टू टेक केयर ऑफ दी सेंसिटिविटीज ऑफ दोज यंग गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज हु माई स्टूडेंट्स जी एंड consciously i never insulted anybody academically or intellectually i never yeah. kind of branded anybody in anticipation as right or wrong left or right or center or what but still right. it might have happened unknowingly might have happened unintentionally and once again right. i take this opportunity if any one of those who felt hurt uh with me as a teacher as a guru or as an academic person i really really apologize once again please forgive me if something of that kind has happened to any one of you sir ke bas matlab including yourself mudra mudra yes, mudra including yourself <laughs> including yourself <laughs> मैं अब अब दर्शकों को बताऊं जो खुद सर के फैंस है यहाँ पे जो भी हमारा पॉडकास्ट देखते हैं जो देखेंगे भी कि सर के साथ में मुझे सौभाग्य प्राप्त हुआ है कि मैं उनका टीचिंग असिस्टेंट रहा हूँ इसका मतलब कि मैंने उनकी क्लास बहुत करीब से कई बार सुनी है कई बार देखी है कई बार उसमें हिस्सा भी लिया है सर की क्लास का एक ग्राफ होता है कि जब स्टूडेंट साइन अप करता है सर की क्लास के लिए तो वो उनका बायो पढ़ के उनके वीडियोज देख के वो एकदम हाई एनर्जी के साथ में आता है कि भाई आज हमारे साथ में कुछ अलग ही होने वाला है एक अलग दुनिया में प्रवेश करने वाला है एंड ही इज वेरी राइट शी इज वेरी राइट और जब वो उस क्लास में आते हैं और फिर जो सर जो विटिसिज्म जो शार्प क्रिटिक की बात करते हैं उससे वो जो है स्टूडेंट पहली क्लास के बाद थोड़े पंचर हो जाते हैं कि भाई हमने तो किसी और चीज के लिए साइन अप किया था ये कहा आ गया और बट दे रियलाइज दैट यू नो यू कैनॉट कम अप विथ लाउजी आर्ग्यूमेंट एज सर राइटली सेड यू हैव टू शार्पन योर वेपन and that's exactly what we see throughout the classes that students come up with better queries better answers aur phir wo jo hai wo jo ekdam jo niche jata hai wo ekdam se aise upar uthta hai ki sir ke sab murid ban jate hai by the end of the sessions so sir yes uh, thank, you. thank you so thank much you on your end as well sir ki aapne hum sab ko aise mold kiya hai sir itne saalon se thank you thank you going forward sir episode 5 yeah. hai yahan pe hamare sahil agrawal sahab ne pucha hai थैंक यू प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल एंड मुद्रा भैया फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अस टू द फॉर ब्रिंगिंग टू अस द बेस्ट एनलाइटनिंग डिस्कोर्स एवर हर्ड ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू साहब मोस्ट ऑफ अस वुड रिलेट विद एवरी आर्ग्यूमेंट बीइंग पुट अप दैट वुड बी इन कोहेरेंस विद इवेंट्स इन अर डेली लाइफ 
and especially the youth. I just had a very basic questions. While we go through the anecdotes in history, we would see that great discoveries and developments had happened because of illogical arguments and irrational thoughts, as they were said in their very first stance. So why shall we always strive to be, strive to be logical on many grounds, as spirituality or rational love and so on? Can illogical thought be completely negated? What a wonderful question, sir. मुझे तो मजा आ गया. Not at all. Not at all. नहीं आपको नहीं लगा सर illogical थोड़ा no, illogical can, rationality के. No, no, it can never be negated. And uh, okay. this uh, this friend is right. Sahil is right. But actually, he is making a kind of category mistake here, where okay. he he is using the expression illogical and irrational. He should, if I were he, I would have mm-hmm. used the expression intuitive. Right. You see, intuitive. I would have used the expression, uh, ek, uh, uh, I mean, pre-rational or trans-rational or trans-logical. See, right. I, I. I am not a student of science, but I know a little bit history of science, and he is right that many of the great discoveries were made in a kind of mysterious trance. Mm-hmm. And it was first discovery was there, then the proof or the argument was looked on, looked for, and presented. This, in fact, happens with every creativity. We started today's discussion with the importance of creative movement. Mm-hmm. please recall what krishna told arjun that even me it's not even in my competence to reproduce that knowledge which i gave you in the form of gita that can never be reproduced you should have remembered what krishna is saying here if this was logical and rational in the sense of being mechanical it can always mm-hmm. be reproduced mm mm-hmm. After all, when the Gita is uh, Upadhyas was written down in the form of part of Mahabharat, and after that it was disseminated in written and printed form. I mean, Krishna could not reproduce it, but since him it has been reproduced billion of times. Mm. You can get a copy of Gita from anywhere. Okay. Yes. The point is that that moment. that let us say using this expression from this particular question that moment that discovery was not just a mechanical reproduction of something given before it was an intuition it was explained with lot of moral and ethical and historical examples in order to convince arjun of the views which <clears throat> which krishna is trying to propound in bhagavad gita so mm. this friend is right provided he insists on intuition right and when we talk of irrational and illogical you see one another thing must be kept in mind bro every word and every concept must be seen and listened to in its proper context yes this is something which is to me this comes so naturally but i think not many people realize therefore i am trying to i have been trying to teach this to my students all my life that please keep the context in mind when someone is saying that you should not be irrational he is not using the expression irrational in the sense in which it will be used in the context of a great discovery or great insight ji 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 the one is using the expression irrational in the context of acts and behaviors which go against the basic idea and tenets of human intelligence ji am i clear could i make myself clear uh, i am addressing sahil here Jee. if i am not very clear sahil please write, write back your question and i'll try to answer that in some next epi- some next episodes maybe next or maybe after that the point however is the role of quote and quote illogical and irrational in human consciousness in discoveries in personal experiences and relations can never be negated 
Hmm. Had this been the case, we would have been no vote. Hmm. Fortunately, we are not. Being rational does not mean being no. <laughs> being logical does not mean me, uh, being a uh, what I am using at the moment, whatever computer this is, uh, yes. uh, Apple yes. or whatever computer it is. So, being <laughs> logical का मतलब ये नहीं होता. Emotions हैं और emotions में अब to to give you a very maybe not a very good example. We all know from our own personal and historical historical experience accumulated thousand of years that no one is immortal. लेकिन अगर मैं मर जाऊं तो आपको तो होगा या नहीं? जी या आप कहेंगे कह रहे हैं साहब वो तो ठीक है सब कोई मरना है पुरुषोत्तम जी भी मर गए तो क्या बड़ी बात है? Rationally तो आपको यही कहना चाहिए logically तो यही कहना चाहिए जी इसीलिए मैं कहता हूं कॉन्टेक्स्ट अब जैसे देखिए ऐसा आई होप आई विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन दीज थिंग्स तुमने जो अभी कहा कि क्लास में लोग आते हैं तो ये सोच के बड़ा केवल हाई फ्लॉन्टिंग डिस्कोर्स होगा लेकिन देन दे कम एंड रियलाइज दैट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वेट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अर्थी विजडम एंड विच आई थिंक आई शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ एंड आई एम प्राउड ऑफ राम राम सब कहते हैं ना एक दूसरे को हमारे महाराष्ट्र में भी कहते हैं उत्तर भारत में तो कहते हैं राम राम जय राम जी की अब सड़क पे आप किसी को मिले और उससे कहें राम राम सत्य है क्या करेगा वो यू आर मेकिंग लॉजिकल फंडामेंटली फिलोसफिकल स्टेटमेंट विच एग्रीज विद भाई अल्टीमेट सत्य तो केवल राम का नाम है ना सभी मानते हैं राम का नाम ही सत्य है सभी है राम राम ही है सब कुछ ओके आप कहिए किसी से सड़क पर निकल के राम राम सकते हैं क्या करेगा वो उसके आग, मैं, कर, मैं नहीं बताना चाहता आप खुद कल्पना कर सकते हैं तो <laughs> वो आपकी वाणी सत्य कर देगा सो दे फोर एवरी थिंग मस्ट बी सीन इन दॉन्टेक्स्ट कॉन्टेक्स्ट जी जैसे मैंने आपको उदाहरण दिया कि अगर मैं मतलब हमारी और आपकी तो बात छोड़िए अब दिलीप कुमार से मेरी केवल एक बार मुलाकात हुई थी जिंदगी में अच्छा वो भी मतलब एक आधे घंटे की लेकिन उनके मरने पर मुझे ऐसा तो हुआ जैसे मेरा अपना कोई बहुत ही निजी मित्र मर गया जी इरफान से तो मैं एक बार भी नहीं मिला था सत्यजीत राय से तो एक बार भी नहीं मिला था और मैं जानता हूं कि सभी को मरना एक ना एक जी लेकिन फिर भी हम दुखी होते हैं जी जी हम जानते हैं कि भाई सब लोग हमारे जैसे नहीं है और हमसे सहमत नहीं होंगे लेकिन फिर भी हम गुस्सा भी होते हैं इसलिए साहिल का ये कहना सही है माय ओनली पॉइंट वुड बी दैट लेट अस थिंक ऑफ इंट्यूशन एंड द इंसिस्टेंस ऑन रैशनलिटी डज नॉट कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट इंट्यूशन एंड इट सर्टेनली डज नॉट निगेट द रोल ऑफ इेशनल एंड इन लॉजिकल इन ह्यूमन लाइफ इट डज नॉट राइट थैंक यू सर जो साहिल ने जो बात की इैशनैलिटी और जैसा कि आपने पॉइंट आउट किया कि इंट्यूशन की तरह उसे देखना चाहिए आप खुद सर एकेडमिक इंटेलेक्चुअल ऑथर सोशियो पोलिटिकल कल्चरल कॉमेंटेटर है आपके जीवन में ऐसा कोई ऐसा वक्त आया है जो आपको लगा कि जो एक एक जो हम सोसाइटी के बारे में जो सोचने का तरीका है और आपका जो इंट्यूशन उसके खिलाफ जा रहा है वो आपको कई ऐसी दिशा में लेके गया जिससे आपको कुछ कुछ क्रिएट करने का मौका मिला हो कई बार आपके साथ हुआ है कई बार हुआ है जी और मैं अपने दोस्तों के बीच में अपनी पॉलिटिकल इनकरेक्ट के लिए पॉलिटिकल इनकरेक्टनेस के लिए मशहूर हूँ मोस्ट ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स आर थिंकिंग इन सर्टेन वे आई डू नॉट आई कम्प्लीटली डिस एंड बिकॉज आई नो इंटली एंड ऑल्सो ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल एनालिसिस ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ माय the collection of historical experiences for example this whole anna andolan all my friends were mm-hmm. very upset with my view of that anna uh, you saying the india against corruption yes i had no respect for india against corruption i still have no respect for such things okay and everybody was taken in by the propaganda but i realized intuitively <laughs> as well as academically that this is nothing but a natak baji and it's another entrance another 
actor, another participant entering into the regular game of political power and competition. Hmm. I found nothing unusual or nothing great or I felt particularly wow. angry with those people who, who described Mr. Hajare as second gun. The way to is this is that no guy can be second Gandhi, third Gandhi, fourth Gandhi. Ban jata. <laughs> you just put on Khadi ka kapra, you start speaking against alcohol, and you become second gun. So I had no respect, and I have no respect for that moment. I am saying this openly. Mm. So there are moments on a more serious note, on a more profound note. I mean, the very idea of spirituality beyond religion. Yeah. The very idea of, as I told you this, I think I have been trying to argue and I should try to, I, I would try to argue this in a more systematic and academic way, that creative expression is probably a better form of spirituality. It's a better way of addressing that, uh, mm. addressing that emptiness. Gee, so gee. these are my intuitive feelings, which I have tried to argue some to some extent, and I'll I'll try gee. to argue them in a more academic and uh, you know uh, convincing way very soon. Right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. <laughs>